Stop, little kitty. Don't drink that. Hush! Why not? Is it just dusty? What looks like harmless dust could actually be hiding something dangerous. A parasite. Let's find out by answering. What happens if a guinea worm gets inside your body? Zoom in! The guinea worm or Drachenculus medinensis is a long thread-like parasite that has plagued humans for centuries, particularly in rural areas where people rely on stagnant ponds for drinking water. If fate leads someone to swallow it, what follows is a chilling tale that feels less like science and more like a monster movie unfolding inside the body. Yes, the journey begins innocently with a sip of water that appears harmless because hidden in that water are tiny crustaceans called copepods or water fleas. To the naked eye, they look like nothing more than specks of dust drifting in the glass. Yet inside these water fleas are the larvae of the guinea worm. When swallowed, the coke pods are quickly destroyed by the acids in the stomach. But that does not kill the larvae. Instead, it sets them free. Now loose, they burrow through the intestinal wall and begin their slow wandering trip through the tissues of the body. For the next several months, the worms grow quietly, almost invisibly without causing noticeable symptoms. They mate and the fertilized female becomes the star of this disgusting story. She can stretch to nearly a meter long. Yet, she is patient, waiting for the right moment to reveal herself. As she creeps closer to the surface of the skin, her slender body sometimes traces faint, root-like lines beneath the flesh, ghostly patterns that hint at what lies beneath. Then around 10 to 14 months, after the initial sip of contaminated water, the person feels a burning sensation, often in the lower leg or foot. Soon a blister forms, red and painful. This is the worm's exit sign. The pain drives people to do the natural thing. Seek relief by dipping the sole limb into water. That is exactly what the parasite is waiting for. As the blister bursts, the worm pushes part of her body through the skin and releases thousands of tiny larvae into the water. The cycle begins again when water fleas swallow those larvae and the next unsuspecting person drinks from that same source. What started as a single sip of unsafe water becomes a chain reaction spreading the parasite from body to body, year after year. I know what you are thinking. How can someone get rid of this parasite? Well, unfortunately, no medicine eliminates the worm inside the body and no vaccine to prevent infection. Instead, the process is painstakingly slow. Health workers gently wind the worm around a stick or piece of gauze, pulling it out a little each day. If pulled too quickly, the worm can snap, causing infection and further pain. It may take weeks for the entire worm to emerge, a painful ordeal that often leaves people unable to walk or work during recovery. Scary, isn't it? Luckily, today, only a handful of cases remain worldwide and scientists believe it may soon join smallpox as one of the few human diseases completely eradicated. Phew! Trivia time! Did you know the disease's Latin name Draconculiasis is Latin for affliction with little dragons? Yes, 
it's probably due to the fiery burning sensation that occurs as the worm emerges. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Rishi. Hope you learned something fascinating today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Pinox, zooming out. And that's exactly why I told you not to drink that water. Oh, Kitty wasn't going to drink it. Kitty was bringing it to you. What? Oh, never mind. <laughs>